Hey guys, today we have an issue that we're trying to fix. So the, we've been riding the SX500, it's been pretty great. It's been working pretty well, but we do have an issue. The issue is, even though we have lower voltage and we can charge, this should be 54.6 volts at maximum voltage. If I plug in the charger, nothing happens. Charger doesn't even charge, it's saying it's green. So we've got an issue with the charging mechanism on this thing. It still works. Everything works fine. So the actual, I think I just lost the sensing connection in it. So we're gonna try to tear it apart and see what's going on. So the issue we have right now is that I hardwired this particular connection and I need to add a JST connector so that I can plug and unplug it if I ever need to take the seat off. So that's what we're gonna do right here. I'm gonna put it over there. But first, before we make everything nice, we're gonna test it, obviously. Is this gonna work? There we go. Part one done, we got the connector on, and now let's take the rest of this off and see what we can see inside. For this part, we're just pulling the battery away from the e-bike. So we're taking away all the packing material and we're disconnecting the controller from the battery so we can test the BMS to make sure that the sense wires are still working properly. I didn't really think this through. Because we have the voltage correct, the sense wires are also going to be correct. So at this point, I still think there is an issue with the battery itself, but that's not the case. Hindsight's always 2020. At this point, I'm realizing that my battery is not the issue, so I'm checking every single sense wire. It's all good. I'm checking the voltage of the actual battery, which I know is good, and I realize that the battery is not the issue. The issue has to be somewhere else. So going back to the bike, I trace the connection back to the actual charger connection itself. So it's a design flaw that I made with this particular battery pack. I made the battery pack to fit within that space, but the charger goes directly against the battery pack. So it's rubbing against it over and over and over. So after four to six months worth of use, it actually made it so that connection was fraying apart and the negative wire on the charge wire got completely disconnected. So that's the issue and I'm just gonna resolder it on and throw on some tape to make sure that doesn't happen again and then put everything back together. It worked. All right, we're finished. The bike is back together and it's ready to rock and roll again. Sa so the it was a pretty easy fix. The voltage was measuring correctly. If I had just thought, well, why is the voltage measuring correctly? It goes through the BMS and I didn't realize that it went through the BMS. So the voltage that I'm seeing is going through the BMS and it has to because the sense wires have to be working properly. So I checked the sense wires to make sure they were working properly. Turns out the connection was actually the connection for the charge connection. It was a busted connection. All I had to do was fix that connection, put it back together. I made some adjustments on the internals to make sure that the battery was gonna stay where it was at. I liked what I had before. It wasn't quite as tight as I wanted it to be, but got it a little tighter, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna ride around a little bit, make sure that it's good to go, and then I will see you in the next one. We are back on my SX. 500 the razor it's down to 49 volts it's kind of like half power at the moment we're not fully charged i think i'm going to turn this into a uh, a street bike i'm not going to take this off road it's fun off road but i'm going to get a Talaria or something else that i can kick off off road something a little bit beefier and i'm going to use this for around around town on the street hooliganism. It's going to be fun. So let's talk about what we did today. Today we had to uh, fix the SX500. It was having an issue. Let's just stop right here. That must be a uh, some delivering packages. So what we had to do is we had to uh, fix the charge port. For some reason the charge port was broken and I know exactly what's happening here. Uh, the charge port pushes right up against the battery and it the battery shakes every once in a while and it's going to push the charge port around so i got to make sure to uh to keep it nice it kind of squeezes it unfortunately i mean it's just a design issue it's my it's my fault but it's fine 
how did the how did it go? It went pretty well. I think we uh, fixed everything we need to fix, and it's running so good. No problems, no issues. Everything's put back together, nice and clean. Feels good, looks good, runs good. All right, it's fixed. It works. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> now just remember, it's probably the easiest thing that broke.